James Gunn obviously been putting out a lot of press lately and uh, YouTube's been recommending the hell out of it for me. But he did a uh, his five favorite comic book movies of all time. And he chose, I thought, some really cool choices. Number five was Deadpool, which oh. he kind of even acknowledged. He's like, it came out shortly after Guardians and it kind of had the same sort of humor. But he's like, Ryan Reynolds is just kind of fits the fits the character like a glove. And it's very funny and very fresh. Then he picked Old Boy, 2003 Old Boy, hmm. which is based on a manga. Then he picked uh, History of Violence, David Cronenberg movie with Viggo Mortensen. Have you ever oh, seen this? Yeah, it's a pretty yeah. great movie. It, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Superman, Richard Donner, Superman, the first one, which I also love. And he talked about how um, there's a quality in Christopher Reeve's Superman. because Everybody loves how his his kind of hilarious portrayal of Clark. And of course it's kind of like all American Superman, but he's like, there's also like a playfulness about him. Like he's kind of, he enjoys being Superman. Mm. Um, and he kind of like, like delights in doing Supermanish things. He's like, that's kind of what we're looking for in our, our next Superman. And then his number one was spider verse, which I caught me by surprise. He oh, really loves the animated spider verse movie. So this inspired me. I was like, well, what would I pick? So I put them together. <laughs> But I ended up going with a top 10. So I'm not going to be too cool to to put Dark Knight on here. Dark Knight is number 10 for me. Oh, OK. Then Men in Black. It's based on a comic book. Oh. Love Men in Black. X-Men Days of Future Past is number eight. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I, I think it's like the ultimate X-Men movie. Like yeah, it, I, it sums up X-Men. I was surprised how much I liked it. I Yeah. I, yeah. Do people then, like it? Do people still like that movie? I never hear people talk about it. It's got Brian Singer stink on it. Too. Oh, the Brian Singer stink. Right. He because yeah. they did first class and then he kind of like stole it back. Right. Yeah. But I think it's the ultimate like it kind of is the greatest celebration of all the X-Men shit in one place. Right. It's so good. It's such a good finale that like the the two follow ups, Apocalypse and then uh, yeah, they, Dark nobody, Phoenix like, yeah. just feels like supplemental. Then I go with Joker. Oh, and then I put Guardians 2 for number six. But, you know, I don't I'm going to have to think about if Guardians 3 just replaces Guardians 2 for my Guardians pick. I, it, where we. Yeah, I, I it's hard for me to I think every single movie in that trilogy is almost like has its merits. Like they're almost for me, they're almost equal in different ways. So number five, Watchmen. I love Watchmen. Oh, I, I yeah, I watched that semi recently and. I think it still holds up. I think it's yeah. probably one of uh, Zack Snyder's best movies and yeah. uh, one of the yeah, better comic book ab- adaptations. And I recommend the deluxe cut or the ultimate cut, the one that, that intersperses the cart. The, the, oh, really? Uh, I, I think I only saw the theatrical version. There's a four hour cut. So when it comes to Zack Snyder movies, I always recommend the four hour. <laughs> and then I, I'm a Batman Returns guy. I fucking love Batman Returns. So that's my oh. And then TMNT, 1990s TMNT. Oh, yeah. Go play. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Never lower your eyes to an enemy. <laughs> yes, Master Tatsu. You are here because the outside world rejects you. This is your family. I am your father. And then Endgame. I, you know, I, a lot of people like Infinity War more than Endgame. So I, I just think Endgame balances the emotions of the char- mm. of the core characters extremely well. Like I'm really feeling everything for Tony. And then totally separately, I'm feeling everything for Hawkeye. And I'm feeling everything for Rocket and Nebula. Like Nebula and Tony are on a ship together and... You know, and and Chris Evans, and you know, like it just works, man. Yeah, I think it was such a smart move to like blip out most of the Avengers yeah. except for that core group. Yeah, and it just really brings it brings it back around. This one was easy for me. The number one pick is Logan. Oh yeah, yeah I can't wait I, for James Mangold to <laughs> screw up Indiana Jones. <laughs> He's gonna mangle fucking mangold it. <laughs> I don't think it'll be his fault, but there, there's something's wrong with that Indiana Jones. <laughs> they yeah, released I, a clip and it was just like, it, it, it looks awful. <laughs> like it looks like bad. And the reviews are starting to come in. They're not good. You know, this, this Kathleen Kennedy, she doesn't supervise the best projects. I have to say. Yeah. if Yeah. I, I don't think she was meant to be a creative producer. <laughs> it's funny though. She like, 
man, she's got her name on everything. I mean, she was involved in, she was a producer of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, she's been around forever. Yeah. You know, she was, what did I watch just recently? Where I was like, oh yeah, she's involved in that too. Uh, uh, Roger Rabbit. Uh, yeah, because Gloria has been loving Roger right. Rabbit. Lately. Like, yeah, there she is. She's yeah, not, she's, she's everything. She's in her late 60s, right? She's, yeah. So she and her husband, Frank Marshall, um, were, if George Lucas or Steven Spielberg were involved with something, she was involved with it. Hmm. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.